Hi guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science. And today we're going to talk about CC cycle three, week 18, hands-on science experiment. So this is our last hands-on science experiment about chemistry. And for our last six weeks of the semester, we'll be doing probability. So that'll be a lot of fun too. But we're doing our last chemistry experiment and we're talking about water and is are all types of water the same or or is water you know if if i get water from the sink in my kitchen versus if i get some distilled water is that the same and do they have different effects on soap bubbles and things like that so we're going to talk about hard water today and so again i like to grab nicoleum's science scripts from CC Connected off the um, e-magazine. It's usually around page 20 in the e-magazine. And she's got some good questions and talking points. So we're talking about hard water. And you can ask the students, okay, well, this doesn't really make sense. What does hard water mean and soft water? And so hard water is just water that has minerals in it. And soft water is more of a pure, just, water nothing else is added to it and so in our like our tap water things that we get out of the kitchen sink or the bathroom sink it's normally not just pure water there's minerals in it like calcium and magnesium and that affects uh, it has an effect on the on how you know if we get like a crust that forms if you you in your shower if you see there's like crust around where the water comes out or if there's like a scum on on the wall or, or the door of the shower that's hard to, to clean up that a lot of that is caused by the hardness of your water and so our experiment today we're going to be taking from the cleaves guide page 56 and we're in number 102 hard water so for this experiment, you're just going to need two small jars with lids, like baby food jars, some distilled water, that's very important. And distilled water is just water that they've um, boiled off and collected so all the minerals remain in the pan or whatever they were using to hold it. So it's just pure water without any minerals added. So we want um, to have the distilled water. You'll need a half a teaspoon of Epsom salts and a spoon and eyedropper for your dishwashing liquid. And so one of the things you can think about to add to this is you have your, you're going to have a jar with distilled water. You're going to have a jar with distilled water where you're going to add the Epsom salts and stir it around. You could try bringing in a jar of tap water just to compare. Um, just so they can see, okay, there is a difference between the distilled water and the tap water versus um, just adding the Epsom salts um, to one jar. So that could be something you can add on if you choose. But you're going to have one jar with some just plain distilled water and a second jar with distilled water. And you're going to add the half teaspoon of Epsom salts and stir it around. And then you're going to add the, uh, three drops of dishwashing liquid to each jar. And you're going to put the lid on and then you're going to shake both jars. And you could be really scientific about it and, and have one person just shake them both at the same time so they're shaking exactly the same. Or you can have some fun with it and pass it around to each student and have them shake it. Um, you could do it either way. But you should see a difference after shaking at least 15 times. They'll both have bubbles or soap suds in them and just get them to observe what is different about them and you should see that the jar without the epsom salts has more bubbles in it so the pure water has more soap bubbles in it than the jar with the epsom salts now we talk about okay why is that they'll both have bubbles but they're a little bit different because the one that has the Epsom salts, that magnesium, those minerals actually react with the soap. And we talked about chemical reactions and chemical changes and when molecules can combine together, sometimes they turn into new things. So 
one of the things that happens when soap and those minerals combine is it makes like a film called soap scum and that's what creates that crust on your shower head or on the walls of the shower that makes it kind of hard to clean and so that's just one of the observations that we're making how do minerals in our water affect things and so it can make the minerals can uh, have an effect on our pipes too so a lot of homes will sometimes have a water softening system and basically all that means it's just taking out some of the minerals in the water so that it doesn't leave like a crust or a film on the pipes so a lot of the minerals that you'll find in tap water are like calcium and magnesium so an epsom salt have a lot of magnesium in them and so um is there anything else i'm going to share Nicolium does talk about the process of how like a water softening system works to it. If you maybe you have older students and want to go a little bit deeper into that, you could talk about how um, atoms have can be positively or negatively charged. And so if they have um, scientists can make use of that. And if they want to remove something um, from water, they can use the opposite charge. To help remove that from your water and that's basically how they make the water um, softer with less minerals in it so there's a diagram on kind of how that works and just some examples of what happens when you have a lot of hard water so if you have examples at home I remember last time we had this cycle we had a wood burning stove and I would put up a pot of water on top of the stove as it was running and the water would evaporate off but left in the bottom of the pan would be kind of this crust it would be those minerals and things left behind so I brought in that pan to show this is what's left over when you when all the water molecules evaporate like all this stuff is in the water as well so that was kind of a good visual um, but yeah that is week 18 and again next week we'll move on to probability so have fun with this experiment and I'll see you guys soon.